It's quiet. It's it's a quiet it's so podcast. Quiet, it Everyone, is. I'm Darren Ike So the Mama. And I'm Red Squirrel. Welcome to another uh, Wild and Funny News uh, podcast by myself and Miss Squirrely Whirly Whirly. We got some cool topics coming up for you here. Um, Crazy. Craziness. You uh, you start us off, Squirrely. What you working on over there, baby? Well, there's a woman that claims that Goofy. Hmm. <laughs> At Disney World or Disneyland, mm. permanently injured her. Uh, not Goofy. 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 <laughs> Damn, Goofy. You acting Goofy. One woman who visited Disney California Adventure back in April of 2022 is now suing the resort, alleging that she suffered from severe injuries after a cast member dressed as Goofy fell on her. Oh. Uh. Accents well, happen. Go goofy. I wonder goofy. how many people go into that place that's looking for something to sue them about. Oh, I bet a. I bet their legal department's got to be. I mean, what is it like? A probably a thousand lawsuits a day or something like that. It's There's no like, telling. The lawsuit claims that when Griffin, this woman Katrina Griffin, was bending over to tie her daughter's shoes, a Disney cast member dressed as Goofy walked directly into her, and she fell into the hard cement. The cast member wearing the Goofy costume reportedly fell onto Griffin. With oh, all no. his body weight, which resulted in severe traumatic, debilitating, and permanent injuries that necessitated significant medical care, medical care as well as emotional pain and suffering. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, Griffin is suing Disneyland Resort, the person in the Goofy costume, and the cast member who worked as Goofy's handler. You know, because they have little handlers. You know, yeah, because like they can't, can't quite see out of the line you know. yeah. And so she was bent down. You know, tying her daughter's shoes. Yeah, and well, he's she, looking this way. Yeah. But the handler didn't, I guess, handle him very well. Yeah. Oh, Goofy. <laughs> uh, so, um, uh, for characters who don't speak, such as Goofy, during character interactions, the cast members are responsible for speaking with guests, acting as the character's translator of sorts. Uh now, this uh, newscast or this news station reached out to Disneyland Resort but didn't hear back in time for publication. The lawsuit didn't name the two cast members and referred to them as John Doe 1 and John Doe 2 in the suit. But uh, she says, of course, the handler failed to prevent the collision between her and Goofy. She wants a jury trial to pursue damages related to health care <laughs> bills and loss of earnings. Oh, okay. Wow. She has permanent disability due to Goofy landing on her. Did he what? Did he like <laughs> break her skull open and, and fracture her pelvis? I don't think anything like that happened at all. But there is a case management. So her uh, fat ass went rolling across the ground and she got embarrassed, and that's what she wants to see. Scheduled for September the fourth. So <sighs> we we shall see. You know, I, I see him, Goofy. I seen another report. Uh, this video that was on TikTok the other day. This happened last week where there was a ride. Going through this little house, mansion deal or whatever. They had some animatronics, you know, whatever. Anyway, the, the ride broke down. They were in little boats going through the water or whatever. Anyway, it broke down. And this lady and her kids got out of the ride. And you could hear over the speakerphone, you know, or the, the speaker system. They're like, you know, ma'am, get back in the boat. You know, stay seated. Right. She didn't. I mean, uh, she got out. And I can understand the liability there. They may be afraid that one of the, the mechanics may hit her. Everything's going to be still. and Everything was yeah, shut down. Yeah. But, it's I mean, dark, still, it's, you know, it, well, I mean, it was light. They had oh. emergency lights. Oh, on. Right. I don't know. Anyway, but my thing was, you know, I could see I could see their, you know, their concerns with that and how they wanted to remain seated. But they'd also been sitting there for about two and a half hours. Oh, now, man. you know me. Oh, you know me. Oh, yeah. You they banned been. her and her whole family from ever coming back to Disney World ever again. So... Karma's a bitch. <laughs> I mean, Goofy yeah. done slip and fell and starts, you know, I mean, I, I, I just, I can see where they, but I, they should have brought some people in there and said, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll exit right, you know, we'll walk yeah. you out of this exit. Yeah. Two and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> she said that the, the children were, I, that's what the complaint was. She said their children were urinating on themselves, that they had, to, one had was, button, you know, prairie dog and but the crap all over herself. They yeah. were starving. They, but to me, to me, I'm like, yeah. so that's, you know, obviously um, both sides, but. But I mean, accidents happen. And if Goofy, yeah. if Goofy fell on top of her, I mean, if it didn't crack her skull open and she wasn't bleeding out yeah, and, like, I, broken bones and she, if she got scraped up a little bit, I mean, go on with it and laugh about Mom it and, him, and go, I'm sorry. <coughs> yeah. Mom and him told us a story one time. They all went down there. This, was a, this you know, Disney World was just really getting, this year, decades ago. Yeah. But that they used, you know, and I'm not sure they still do in parts. Of the, anyway, the parking spaces were numbered. And, uh... My uh, uncle at the time, my, my mother's brother, wanted to know what parking spot they were in, you know, so they could, 
And so the guy, the attendant told him, this is 409, Dopey. And he thought he was insulting him, but in yeah. fact, that was the that was the parking number was 409 <laughs> Dopey. They named after the characters. So, yeah. <laughs> So we we caught up with Ricky Dopey for years yeah, over there. Four oh nine, Goofy, Dopey, <laughs> Goofy, Dopey <laughs> Minnie, Mickey, so. yeah. Well, I can see I can see uh, both sides, yeah. and I can see both sides yeah. of this next story here. So. This is crazy. This is crazy. This was laid across our desk, so to speak, and 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 some comments and about it. All over TikTok. All right over now. TikTok. Uh, if you're not familiar with, apparently every year they have a, a universal. It's a man. It's a Christian man's. Uh, conference. conference. I think it's held in South Carolina, if I'm not mistaken. But nevertheless, Mis is it, was it Missouri? Missouri? I don't know. It's somewhere in America. Somewhere in the U.S. Somewhere in the U.S. <laughs> and uh, all these men get together, and uh, you know, like they will men's Bible study, which is great. Yeah. You know, practice yeah. for men and and uh, yeah. men's camaraderie, and they get together and they may play some flag football, and they sit there and we they you know they worship Jesus, maybe eat yeah. a bite to eat. It's good. It's good for men to get together. Good for women to get together. And um, and so they have this conference every year, and and um, I've never been to it. I don't know. I've heard of it. I don't. Well, anyway, this year apparently. It's all over the news right now, um, and it's just blown up even worse. But this year they had some special acts there, and one of the acts that they had to open it up, to open yes, up the conference, was to, yeah, in this big, hum, huge auditorium. Yeah, it was a it was a gentleman who's an acrobat, and he performed some acrobatical stunts. He had a large pole that went up into the air and a platform, in which he got on and. Um, he, you know, got the sword out and, you know, showed him he's doing all these manly flexes and, you know, then he removes his, <laughs> yeah, well, he didn't, well, he's, he takes his top off. They have to be, I mean, pretty much unclothed to do this. I mean, they have to, so he had a pair of top pants on, but he takes his, his top vest off. And he's got the sword, he swallow, swallows the sword, then he shimmies up the pole and he turns backward and he ends up sliding down the pole with his, to get the sword and it's all kind of crazy stuff. And apparently there was two other acrobats performing uh, stunts as well at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this, the next day, um, I'm understanding it to be the next day. Yeah. Um, Mark Driscoll, I hope I'm saying his name right. His last name is D-R-I-S-C-O-L-L. -L. Driscoll. Got up, and it was his turn to speak. And, and the, he's a preacher. He's a preacher. He's a pastor. That's right. He's, he's a new born again pastor, because apparently he messed up. In Missouri somewhere over some incident, so he had to, he's back into the church now. And I guess he's been, it all got worked out. And he's seen the acrobat. Now, he talked to the main pastor that's over all this uh, before he got on stage. Um, but when he got up to speak, he let it out that he wasn't pleased with the performance of the acrobat. He said that it was uh, somewhat demonic. He felt that it was, you know, uh, it, he well, he felt that it was just very tantalizing. He, you know, the guy taking his shirt off and, and, and you know, and sliding down the pole and like a, you know, like a stripper and swans, you know, and, and I can understand where, I don't know why, <laughs> I don't know why that would be even a part of a man's Christian conference. You're there to, to for the camaraderie with other you know fellowship with other men to talk about the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to you know I don't know what the hell uh, acrobats had to do with it just like I don't know what a monster truck they had monster trucks in the arena doing backflips and running over yeah. crap so 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 this so this preacher here this Mark destroy you know so he gets up there and talk just this or whatever he gets a Driscoll he gets up there and says, you know this is bad you know this is this is, you got a man up here who's taking his clothes off and he's showing his chest in front of everybody. And he's on a pole. And he's on yes, a pole yeah. and he's, and he starts to, you know, to make some sense as to why this would be happening at this, at this thing anyway. And he gets some uh, support from the, you know, the audience there. When the main pastor that's over the entire event, um, stands up and, um, tells him he's going to have to get off stage. He's done. So Mark says, all right. He puts his hat on and he <laughs> shuffles on. And so um, the other, uh, the main pastor there that was over everything, which I'm desperately looking for his name now that I had. Uh, yeah. Uh, John something. Yeah. It, it, anyway, he gets up and 
he's like, look, you know, da da da. He starts to uh, he 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 reverts back to um, Matthew's eighteen, uh, where yeah, right there. Matthew 18, where, uh, you know, he says that he should have came to his further brethren and if he had a problem with anything that was going on and spoke to him then because apparently the uh, the pastor uh, over all this had spoken with Mark before Mark spoke, 30 minutes before, with the conversation lasted roughly about 15 minutes uh, before this before he took the stage. Uh, and I believe that the reason Mark didn't say anything is because he knew the main pastor was probably going to say, hey, I wouldn't get up here and say that. Uh, probably, no, probably not going to go over well. And, uh, you know, it's already done past, just like the, the other shows that we had, just like the other aerobic uh, dancers that we had, just like the monster truck show, just all this other random shit that we paid for, the fire show, the all the other show. What was all that there? You know, apparently Mark was fine with all that. Uh, sounds to me like Mark might have a little bit of insecurities about himself is what it sounded like to me. Uh, but that's just me, you know what I mean? I'm like Mark. I don't know what the hell that he would be doing there anyway at this, but, you know, if all that other stuff was fine, Mark, well, Mark, I guess the fire was fine, wasn't it, Mark? I, I, I guess the food wasn't too bad, even though it was gluttonous food. I read on here, too, they had a plethora, a smorgasbord of all types of sinful foods that they eat. Some of them is reported eating more than two plates of it. Uh, Mark, I, bet, I guess your previous uh, experiences and your and your sins was okay, too. Now, am I making, am I making a point for the, for the stripper or whatever? What? No, I'm not. Speak about a stripper. Turns out, the male dad, the, the, the acrobatic uh, doing all the sword swallowing, well, he was a papa stripper. <laughs> he also now, however, is a born-again Christian, Yeah, has turned his ways, he's repented his sins, and now attends a Christian church and is a big deal down there in Los uh, Angeles, where he's a, 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 he goes to church out there in California. Hmm. So, uh, anyway, it's caused quite the rebuckus rebu up there. Uh, now you got everybody yeah. on the Twitters and on my own snapper chatters and on YouTube, and they're tearing apart this this convention. They are seeing now there was, you know, a upside down cross in the background. All this yeah, stuff. Yeah, they're saying that, he yeah. slid down yeah. and he had his arms out. Well, and, and then on the in the platform him. behind him too, there was like a weird cross yeah. and a symbol. And it, you know, this is the thing we talked off air about the cross. I I never understood the meaning behind the cross being the, the big, you know, and I know a lot, even my own family's going to watch this and go, what in the hell is he saying? It was just always weird to me, the cross. I mean, that was what Jesus was nailed on and, and, and was Did brought to. Represent? I know that. I know that. But what I'm saying is what I yeah, feel like. And, I, and I've always, and I've always felt this way. And of course, it's not the story, but I mean, I've always felt like a better representation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is saying, you know, birthing the end of the stone. Like a stone would be, yeah. you know, like a little cave with a stone running from, you right. know, like he right. was raised, he was raised again, he's born again. I don't, you know, right. what the right. cross was, you know, but that's, you know, that's, that's my, you know, goofy thinking or whatever. But I mean, I, 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 I get the symbolicity behind the, the cross stuff. But when it comes to this, uh, <laughs> when it comes to this right here, I don't know why they had this. Uh, I don't know why they had any. I mean, I like, really don't. And all was, the entertainment and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And I get right. it. It was, it was a conference. It was a big deal. They had to make it. You know, bigger than life itself, I guess. But uh, I don't know what any of the things that they had. They had football players there. They had all types of random uh, – that had nothing to do with Jesus. I mean, you know, I, I mean – Sword swallowing does it really – I don't really know what that has to do with it. So I guess I see both Jesus. sides of it. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, I think Mark wanted to make himself a name here. It says they were not familiar with this dude's past prior to inviting him. Yeah, well, that was which the was council an oversight. That was that was the council, and they weren't um, the the main uh, pastor involved uh, that puts all this together was not uh, him and his that well, his, his his cabinet members or whatever that his committee rather was not knowledgeable of this sword swallower's past, which I would love to know the past of all these other guys that were there too. You know what I mean? I'd like to know and if, if we're going to throw stones here. If you, you know, can't and, be and, forgiven of your past. Yeah. I mean, like, when this all first came about, past. everybody was like, yeah, he's right, he's right. And I agree. I, mean, I don't yeah. know what that has to do with anything. But at the same time, like, I think it's been blown out of proportion a little bit because I watched the performance. He wasn't being seductive. He didn't grind on the pole. He wasn't, he wasn't, he, you know, he he wasn't anything. It was manly. I mean, you got men out there, you know, pulling weights and picking stuff up and slamming stuff around. You got, like, I didn't know, I, I, I didn't know if there was big trucks around when Jesus Christ was walking the earth. I didn't, what the hell does that have to do? Crushing stuff and slamming stuff. And, stuff. Like and then, like then poof, this guy gets up and, and, and rides up, goes up this pole and slides up. So it was impressive. Very impressive. It was very manly. I mean, it was great. 
And then all of a sudden, this guy's like, he took his shirt off in front of me. What are you worth the beach, Mark? <laughs> you know, so that when this first came out, everybody's like, yeah, Mark's right. What the hell? They even booed the pastor that was over this entire convention, uh, you know, telling him to get off stage and everything. And now that a few days has went by, people are like, Starting to, understand, starting to Wait, see where, it, I don't know, it's just. It was a lot of, um, it looks like bells and whistles for uh, for worshiping. Yeah, it was a lot. I mean, it was a lot. It was a lot. The whole thing was, the, all the entertainment seemed it, to be a I lot. I didn't understand it. I didn't uh, understand it. Um, I, I never, yeah, I've, I've been to some cool convention type deals, and I've never, we all just kind of, you know, play get to know you games, you know, <laughs> like. Um, yeah. What's your I name? Understand and, some singing a little, yeah. and a little preaching and doing, but I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't know. understand yeah, the I guy. Don't, yeah, I mean, if he uh, got up there erotically and started like, you know, I could see it, but, and, and in closing here, again, I don't know why that would have even been a part of the, the deal anyway. I don't know what, what the, I guess like the, the manly and, you know. But not just you know, that, and, but the monster trucks flying through the middle of the yeah, I don't get, I don't, and the fire and the, yeah, a lot of the, fire. Like, there was a lot a of fire. A lot of fire, which there was. You know, fire is, is life, and fire is, you know, can also be... Um, it can, okay, it can be, yeah, devilish. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we're going to... Speaking about it, yeah, we're just going to play the... You just make your you own decisions. You make your own decisions. But I see both sides. I do. Um, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just... I see... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna look at it like I kind of do the all speak that, about the cross. I'm gonna wear the cross and the little and the little stone now. Yeah, all that money that they spent on that entertainment could have gone to like you know yeah help that could the have, community or that something. That could have went to the public community. Yeah. That could have went to uh, you know helping. That's not, that that you want to really impress me. Have a food drive while you're doing that. You know while you're preaching, yeah. have a have have a have For a food your drive. Yes, yes, and everybody getting them a plate and, and, and tell their story and how the Lord came to them. You know, oh. let's let's get more of that in there. And uh, that, that that you know, I don't know how much. Invite you know, the homeless. Hundreds, I was about to say, the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh. Did. How about y'all take that money and and, and build yeah. and build the school down the road that that you know just got whatever and and all the, the or the or the, the veterans that uh, don't have a place to live. How about put oh. those hundreds of thousands mm -hmm. of dollars, and millions it's of dollars that y'all put in this show? How about putting yeah. that into a get a housing community for for our homeless vets? That's just me though. Oh. That's, that's just Darren's thoughts. Instead of having I guys swallowing swords with and lakes of fire, how about yeah. turning loose a bunch of doves? You know what I mean? Feeling, you know, I, I, yeah. what, what, yeah. what in the world? Yeah. Have a have a uh, animal adoption. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, I mean, yeah. Let's so, let's empty out this. Let's do something, you know, yeah, productive. It's a, it's it's a guy's Christian, uh, you know, uh, deal. Let's uh, let's let's represent that. Yeah. I'm Darren, aka Southern Mama, and I'm Red Squirrel. God bless you.